Internal mic sucks. All right. Like better than a rattling mic, isn't it? No, you just can't hear anything with it. All right. Would I ever sell the cow? Doubtful. Like. So we're we taking that out of equation. Like, I said it's the cow's last dance. This is last hoorah. Part of it. Part of it. All right, we're going, we're going small block forward. We're going small block forward in the cow. Everyone was just flaming us that we can't figure out the small block forward. It's not that we can't figure it out. I haven't read the comments. Um, ATI hadn't made that balancer since 2002, and even they didn't know it was up, and they had to call me back and was like, Listen, we can put all this stuff together in like a day and just have issues with it, or we can just do it right and not have issues with well, it. Well, I mean, I spent three hours a day trying to find somebody that had a mandrel that would fit it in stock. No what one. What do you do? All right, so we're going out to the track. Matt is going to be driving out there. We got Brad over there. Are you riding in the cow out there? Of course. Oh, look, you guys got matching shirts on? Hell yeah. I like that. Hell yeah. Where did you, where'd you get that shirt, what Matt? What time did you get up this morning? Oh yeah, so I, I picked first. He just copied me. What? Uh, where'd you get that shirt? LSNasty.com. What's going on at LSNasty.com? Uh, starting October first. Uh, a giveaway. Daily I... driver giveaway number one. Mm. A Caprice. Partially your daily company car. How do you feel yeah. about losing the company car? I mean, I'm just gonna start driving this daily. All right. Uh, so you guys are gonna drive this out there, Glot Motorsports Park. I'm looking for smoke out there. So. Um, Stedman's got a four-door, is it Caprice? Yeah. The big body, the box, Caprice? I think it's a Caprice. He runs on big wheels, but he also is pretty quick on some, uh, a drag pack. And I'm over here 4,000 pounds, ready to crack some ass. All right, so I'm looking smoke out at Galat, whether Chase in uh, Bloodbath Junior 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 wants smoke, yeah. or Chase. Never heard of him. Never heard of him? Last time I had this thing out, look at this. BJ's gender reveal. Got a little girl on the way. Shout out to BJ. All right. So I'm going to the track, driving it there, looking smoke. Is that it? That's the hood's open. The hood is open. Okay. Yeah, the hood, yeah. It's open. You're faster with the hood open. So everyone as you're going down track, pop the hood. More airflow in. That's why I don't run a hood on MK Ultra. Pretty good looking car. Not bad, it's my first car. First build. Doing all right. So for those of you guys that Sorry, I'm just a silhouette. For those guys that don't know the setup on this, stock blocks, stock heads, 416 stroker, uh, budget, Comstar rods, Texas speed crank, Wiseco shell piston. Uh, the car has been running amazing for six years. Uh, RPM Motorsports did the build. Jeff Short did a lot of fabrication on there. A little revision from Jason Brazel at one point. And uh, we're gonna hit the track. This is gonna be the last time you guys ever see this car in this condition. Also, I picked up a Dodge, by the way, a Dodge fam. So we're gonna have to talk about this in a whole nother video, but yeah, Dodge fam, hell yeah, hell yeah. Just a, just a good looking unit. I'll be honest with you guys, I don't really enjoy driving them on the street as much as I used to. That's just me. I'd rather a car with a overdrive style transmission, just cruising like sixth gear and hit the road. But I do understand why people like it. I do understand why I did it, uh, but I'm not so worried about making that thing as fast as it can possibly be now. Uh, I'm gonna, I just enjoy it for what it is. It's been the same build for about, really about three years, but the whole original build started six years ago. So it's crazy how fast it goes for what it is. And uh, 
we'll see how fast we can go tonight. Hopefully the track's good. I'm on some old ass tires, but hopefully the track is good. All right, we're gonna have an action-packed night of racing. Uh, we are here with this. I saw Jason Harris here. Can you go over and talk to them? Yeah, talk to Jason Harris. Yeah, How's the drive over? Drive's good. What attempt get up to like 200? 205. I mean, streetcar. Streetcar. It's just got a steep gear in it because I only run eighth mile. If I ran quarter mile, it'd be a lot more yeah, highway gear. friendly. You could probably put like a 29 on it. Yeah. The wildebeest, you've been lost. God, it's been a while. Race and Jason back in the videos. What do you have to say to everyone, all your fans out there? What do you have to say? Oh, God. Well, at least you're back. I hadn't talked to you since you've been down in Louisiana. Sweet you look bigger you. since I've seen you last. because you've gotten bigger, so now we're equalizing. Oh. <laughs> all right, what are you doing out here? We've been testing back in the nitrous car. So. Pro, back, pro nitrous? Yeah. And you, you switch back and forth between Big Dog yep, and I'm, Pro Nitrous. I'm not doing that anymore. No? How no. was that? The pain. What's, the, what's the setup? What are you running here, transmission wise? Uh, Mark Mickey Turbo 400 lockup. Lockup. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah. 959. Damn. So. Damn. Tune if you got in it. I really just be spinning all way down. Try tune if you got in it. What? I went 75, 204 while ago. Spinning. All right. In English for people that don't know racing. 375, 204. 204 nitrous. 203. 203. 389. 65. Hey. Hey, hey Chubbs. Chubbs. It ain't an S10. We don't want it. Believe that. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at what? All right, you rule. If you if you want to hang out with us, you got to have some sort of beard. I got this going on. Matt's got like the weird, creepy truck stop janitor beard. Said someone in the comments. I Wes, work, I work hard for this. Uh, you do work hard for that. Oh no, it said mullet, not beard. I'm sorry, yeah. mullet. The beard is exceptional. He's got like a beard mullet, basically. He, he yeah, does look like a beard mullet. And then you got Brad Wes over looks here. Looks like Jesus over there. The sun shining I, behind him. I Brad think is just up with Brad. Yeah, Brad just. Yeah. What do you What do you do with that? I mean, I mean, it's hard to. What compete. kind of product did he use? Um, my girlfriend's got some stuff. It's a uh, Lime Life, actually. Works oh, pretty wow. well. Yeah. I just uh, used ATF. 
we can so develop. we're down here jason harris and them shook it down uh hey, very oh, oh the lighting to the right, there we go uh, it's, it's been a while we've been out the game we've been working storm has not been filming we don't worry about the sun inside the shop i know so um all right yeah uh guys have been out here private testing pdra next weekend we're at glott motorsports park thursday night testing team i'm gonna try to shake it down <laughs> phil was supposed to drive tonight but he's not here so i'm gonna shake it down without phil wait, wait, wait. Did phil get cold feet? i don't know he probably got scared well, does know, phil have feet if you still need somebody to really shake it down we have Jason Harris here. We do have Jason Harris here. And I mean, Jamie. If, if, and if Wes. If you need somebody to shake it down. And Wes. I don't know if. I would if, let Matt. If somebody else I would drive. I would let Matt drive it, but he'd criticize and be like, man, I think Rod's like shit. So, <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, you know, it's like. He's like, ground. it's got this weird vibration. It pulls to the left. And I'm like, listen, it's mine. It's I'm, mine. I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I'm just going to be in there hanging on. Yeah. So, I will criticize. Um, yeah, so we're going to go and shake it down. I'm gonna try to leave a somewhat decent tune up in it. I think the track's good. Set a tire pressure, put some ice in the back, and we're good to go. This is really the setup right here. I'm gonna talk about the real quick turbo kit. Um, 88 millimeter T6 turbo. Uh, it's a pretty compact turbo. It's not a massive backside. It's an 88, 91. Precision. Precision turbo, uh, which for street driving for this combination is absolutely awesome. Not really turbo laggy at all. Gets up on the chip super fast. Uh, extremely efficient for the engine combination. 416 cubic inches on E85, 10 to one compression. Like turbo, you can spin that thing up. Makes really good power. I've been 140 miles an hour with it uh, at 4,000 pounds with this turbo. We got turbo smart waste gates. Turbo smart waste gates. Pro charger blow off valve. Pro charger big red blow off valve. Uh, it's got a, a pro charger air to water intercooler, which works extremely well. You're looking at intake air temps on the start line, like. 40 degrees and on the big end you're looking at like 70 degrees so you got to think that's very efficient before yeah. i had a pro charger air to air and i was like 212 220 going through the stripe so car runs really good turbo kit super efficient drives good on the street uh factory radiator set up to run with ac um, I took the AC compressor off and gave it to someone that was in need of an AC compressor because I don't really drive the car much and when I do I have the windows down listening to race it. Race car. So yeah. I was at the point where I didn't have a race car so I was like let's make this as race car as possible. Now I have a bunch of race cars and I'm like I appreciate like a just drive around car with some really cold AC, lock up style transmission, and one that you don't have to put ice in the back. Um, but yeah so it's got uh, this Rhodes race cars uh, seven, I think it's a seven gallon um, with a uh, who makes the pump god it's uh rule yeah it's rule pump it's like a rule 2000 pump pretty common uh set up so have some ice in here to circulate a little bit really cools down everything i mean the water in there it was kind of warm well I'll turn the key on here's a fun fact for you you can also put your beer in there while you're racing and yep. when you get done winning you can just like, crack over. so we drive around um with just water in here and it gets like lukewarm it's i'd say just driving it around it's still more efficient than air to air but um like right now look at one bag of ice put it in here it will have the uh intercooler cooled off in no time so i just put my hand right here you can feel it's just getting colder and colder until it's uncomfortably cold so take two bags the first time after that every time you go make a pass throw a bag in it go out there bust some ass drive it home i mean what more are you asking for so, and uh also, a little trick, if you guys really like you want to really cool it off, you can use the salt brine solution. Uh, just make sure you flush it out real good. But I've done that, and you can get the intake air temperature down, but too cold on that. Yeah. So, and one thing that I like about this combination uh, and the way it's set up is I don't really have any condensation issues. Some people, they run the, the air to water, get it really cold, and it starts dripping on the track. I've never really had any issues with condensation stuff. So, if you do um, have an air to water and you have condensation issues, you can take Dynamat or any other kind of uh, sound dating material and line the tank with the intercooler and it will alleviate all those problems. It insulates it so you won't have condensation dripping on the track. All right, so I'm gonna throw that other bag in there, put my gear on, we're gonna go make our first shakedown. I'll leave the tune up just about the same. You wanna let me drive? You wanna drive? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we won't race ET, hope reaction time race. No, I just wanna make sure it goes down. Like, I don't know if, you, this is, this car, I would say it's probably not the most enjoyable to drive. It just slings the front end up in the air and you just ride with the front end up, like, with the travel in it the whole way. Yeah, Carolina lean. I mean, you can drive, just go put the, I mean, I guess you should, are you gonna ride helmet. on those? You want these? Nah, helmet. I, I got my boots on. These are my driving boots. All right. I guess go get ready. Matt, Matt's gonna make a pass. No, no, you make it. You can make a shakedown pass. I don't. I, I don't want to make. A well, I don't know how the car feels. So if something's wrong, I'm gonna be like, it either goes down or it doesn't. So. 
All right. Don't get cold feet down that. Well, I, I just, you know, the oh, first oh. first time going oh, down is something. Back pedal. He's pulling the fill right back now. All right, give me the helmet. He's like, oh, well, I just don't. <laughs> yeah, it's don't, gonna, it's gonna don't, don't rack the rev limiter in the burnout. Okay. That's like, I mean, these springs are literally six years old. So don't. Here we go with the. And you, you here we go with the. Here we go the stipulation. You shifted that like 6,200, like 6,000. Shift light. Yeah, it's got shift light, but you just like let go the button and then you start shifting. Okay. Just, it's like a Liberty or something. Yeah. Hey. Me. Look who it is. Hey. <laughs> All right, the old trusty cow. It's kind of one of those cars that's been around for a while. It's got its little corks and like does things weird. I don't run it a lot, so we don't iron them out. We just like, that's how she is. So um, it's very weird in the car. You sit really low. The Camaro's got a real big hood. I don't have it on there. So the vision is like a, a tenth better, but the car being IRS just picks up the front end and rides down track. It feels pretty good on the street. It's probably not the smoothest driving car. It's got some like rattles and shit like that, but down track wide open. I mean, it, it's always been good, so. Um, you know, Matt's been Hold Matt going. Now we, we better get up there. Okay. Matt's freaking out. Look at Matt. <laughs> Nervous right now. No, no, no. Second. It was that, so fast. That tune up was a 135 tune up. It did it three times in our last time at the track. So I, I'm pretty fairly confident the tune up was going to be the tune up. The errors might be slightly better, so maybe it tried to make a little bit more, but. Um, the, the track's but not the that greatest. That car's really tough to do a burnout in. It's got a really big blow off valve, so if you crack the throttle at all, it just, all the, all the power of, is gone, and then it sticks the tire. So you got to, like, with that car, you got to, like, be steady in the throttle. So. Should we be really hard on that? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, critique him. No, it's like he that. critiques you. <laughs> yeah, but I, uh, we'll, we'll shake it down. We'll, we'll, I think, big smoky burnout. Yeah. You hear it, that the blow off valve, as soon as you crack the throttle at all, it's just dead. Yeah, no, it's like, it's coming up, and then I go to second, but I, like, roll out of it, yeah. and as soon as I do, it just... David said he wants smoke. Oh, shit, I better tighten up. He yeah. said he wants smoke. You want, you want, you want that? <laughs> all right. We got some black belt performance fabrication on. Dude, he's got this thing moving. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, look at his shirt, bro. Look, he got right. prepared. All right, losers got to take their shirt smoke. off. Losers got to take their shirt off.
stick is good enough, but if we can get it to stick, then we can start taking the travel limiters off and try to get it to wheelie. Do you want to go left lane or right lane? Everybody's been going left lane. The only reason we went the right lane was because the truck in front of them had put something down on the track yeah. so they were cleaning it. We can it. go left lane, we can try left. Because everybody's been going left lane, so it's got to be better, I feel like. They have both lanes prepped though for radial, or are they doing left lane for the no, big tire? I, okay. I don't think the I left think lane. I took, I took 100 RPMs out of leave and a pound out of launch, so it should hopefully go down, but just not be sporty. Yeah. So that's the plan. Our hands in team. Oh Make a lick out there. Woo! More power and shook or what? Nah, it's just overpowering it. Yeah. Just trying to get the power man right. Has anybody ever done that? <laughs> God, no, it came over. All right, guys. Shook down the cow. Um, the air is better. I can confirm that 135 tune-up after we turned it down is the new 135 tune-up. So we set Matt up for failure. We put Matt with like a, a probably a 125 tune up and the track out there is not 125 capable. Uh, but the car went down there. I think after it being together for so long, it's probably a little tired. It is. You know, it's, it's a little it's tired. Updates. Definitely need some updates. I'd like to put Holly on it. I want to go faster, but have more streetcar features. Yes, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, so mess with Dave's car a little bit. Matt, what did you do on Dave's car? Uh, Dave, well, first of all, Dave's got the SN95 LS swap uh, black belt performance turbo kit on it. Holly yeah. Terminator. Holly Terminator. So he was having some issues where he couldn't get over 14 pounds of boost, and that was probably because the way the wastegate was set up, it had a manifold reference to the bottom and the top. So you get where you're trying to overcome the back pressure trying to open it, then the manifold pressure trying to open it, and then you just got whatever manifold pressure on the top. So now what we did was we removed the reference from the bottom, and we're only referencing top. So Pretty much the way it sets it up now is the engine back pressure is what opens the wastegate and then you have manifold pressure on top so you can get more so we lowered the duty cycle to about 40. now is this a common upgrade for bracket cars i mean look at this bracket 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 i mean got the fan I got a fan hey hey cut your fan on <laughs> oh shit Half a oh shit if that, if that ain't a bracket car, I don't God, know what hey, it is. Hey, these are some nice belts. Those are nice. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, those are nice. Hey, I like that. I like that. Hey, he's got a wheel wheel. Look at wheel wheel. Woo. What do you think, Wes? Solid car. Yeah. Matt, Matt, how much longer till we're out here in old Eeyore? Eeyore. It's going to be all you, Wes. I know, right? It's going to be all I you. I need to get a fan. I'm going to put the... Need more altitude. They didn't, they didn't get on the hey. trail. All right. The charging. Alternator went out. 
There was the fan. I had you turn the fan I was on. Trying to give you some smoke. God. No. Oh. What was it? What? That was like a brand new uh, alternator too. Yeah, if we had a meter, I'd, we could check it at the alternator. Uh, I just took a meter out of my truck. Literally just took it out of my truck. All right, y'all. So we made a couple. Um, we made a couple passes. Matt made a pass. Oh, Matt made a pass earlier. I literally asked for nobody. It's terrible. I'm back. <laughs> um, so looking to race. A Tesla Plaid wants to run, but I don't know if you guys want to see that. So I think you guys would like to see me race Ira in his big wheel box everyone knows ira boost doctor um oh, he's going right now. yeah here we'll go up here and watch it this thing flies i mean it's just it shouldn't go this fast it does go this fast he wants me to give him the break so we'll see what happens back in the video damn hit him hey hit him with that manual zoom <laughs> don't worry I, I manual zoom too. all right all right so we got uh camaro versus mustang uh chris what's the setup on this setup um it's a grudge car no, grudge no, it's car a, it's a grudge car it is a it's got a power adder on it coyote, coyote stock trans stock bone stock trans um stock rods and pistons boost Boost. Any any gas? Y'all spraying? Um, are we spraying? spraying? It? We used to spray it. Now we spray now we just run the. Yeah, um, we got just it's the smallest packs that you get. The twenty, right. the, what was it 19, 18, 20, 2000, whatever it is. Oh, call call it one thousand at this point. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It's barely it's barely on. There. It's the cheapest it's, packs that you can get. It, it's practically like a restrictor plate at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> but you guys are gonna get the back tire and the clear. So for everyone at home that doesn't know, the back tire. He staged with his back tire and the beams. I staged my front, so that's like three quarters of a car length right there. And then he gets the brake. So the brake is, I can't move until he moves. That's worth about four numbers. So for instance, if I were to go a 560 and he were to go a 60, the finish line would about even out. So that's, that's the breakdown. Yeah, if, it, if this doesn't work out, um, Aldo, we definitely need that turbo kit for the, uh, yeah. the third gen, please. <laughs> we got to work on that. <laughs> we can't be uh, having these Mustangs get beat up that bad all the time. Is this your cry for help? This is cry, please. This is, this is, all, you, this is all you got. Please. That's it. Please ask for transmission, too. We oh, and a transmission? All right. All right. Hey, please. we can just do one hey, car at this point. Hey, yeah, I, we'll send it in Texas. <laughs> Aldo, take care of it. Yeah. All right, so you hear that Aldo Wells looking for a, a turbo kit for Chris's uh, Mustang, but I feel pretty good about the cow here. Uh, I'm gonna leave the tune up in it very soft down low. Uh, I'll just go out there and you know go and run whatever it runs on the big end, and we should be all right. So, God, I tell you, the last time I had a grudge race in this thing was about a year ago. Was it? Oh yeah, it was. It was, it was a long time ago. I mean, it, this is like the third time I've had it out, and I didn't tell you guys, but I got big changes coming to it right after this. Big changes? Big changes. Now, let me ask a question. You're going to change something that's been together for six years. Six years. 
Yeah, slight modifications, upkeep, preventative maintenance. So stuff. can I ask a question? Are we gonna um, are we going to turn it up since you've had the head gaskets on there for six years? Are we gonna freshen them up or just leave them together? Yeah, well, no, no, no. So I, <laughs> my mind was my my game plan in here was leave everything stock and the motor transmission, and everything else, or stock. Leave it as is, and then see if we can go even faster yeah, that's until it just slings the shit out of it. Well, I'd, I'd hate to do that because it's been together so long. Why would you risk that? But but if you're changing, let's just see what you finally just push the limits. You've never pushed this car hard. I haven't. But I now I'm so lazy I don't even put it on a trailer. We drive it here, so I don't want to blow it up. But I do know that a motor together is worth a whole lot more than one in pieces. So might have to just keep it together and sell the motor. Maybe do like an aftermarket block. I don't know. Hey. You know, finances are tight now since I ain't been doing videos every day. You know, hey. it's like you know. Comment, like, and subscribe. I, 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 I knew it was coming. Hey. I knew it was coming. Look, get you some merch. Where, where can you go to get that? Oh, uh, John Dot YouTube channel no, and uh, description. Ls Nasty. Ls Nasty. There, there you go. It's been a while. We're down below, right? knocking the rust off. You yeah. know? Hey, do you hear? Do you hear October first? We're giving away the Caprice. I like it. What do you know about the Caprice? Tell them about the Caprice. Um, well, tell them about the Caprice. When your friend gives you the keys and says takes it around the block, why why did you get why did you get <laughs> have to take it around the block? Because he had to move some stuff in the shop, and I thought that was like take it around the block, have fun. Yeah, it was probably not a good idea. <laughs> I think John was a little mad with me, but I had fun. It's a great car. Whoever gets it, let me ride around with you on the block so he can't fuss at me about it. Ultimate, That's all I'm ultimate saying. Ultimate daily driver. Beautiful. Beautiful. Na neighbors hate as, you. As long as you don't get in the back seat. A right loud. now, we're gonna fix that. A little loud. Yeah. A little yeah, loud. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Uh, October 1st, giveaway started in Caprice. Oh, that's a good picture. Get some merch. You can get some sick merch like this. Look at this. You can only get that in the mystery box, though. We'll have a new mystery box out for that. I'm wearing this. Look at Brad's got some LS Nasty. There's just LS Nasty merch everywhere. Look at this throwback LS Nasty shirt right there. All right, I got the 5 -0 and the cow. energy for that ass whooping give me the energy to whoop that <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> brad shows up at noon he's like i'm gonna put this butt on take it to the track i'm like no way i start at eight o'clock in the morning and we have a butt at the racetrack so brad's like no it'll be fine then he proceeds to not be there to wrap it so i had to wrap it and here we are he, he was complaining about taking five minutes of his life to have to wrap this no, Brad's like, hey, I didn't know if you'd be able to get plates and forks and, and no, put it in a was, cooler. No, I, I stopped and grabbed. Was this cooled in a cooler? It was in a cooler. It's wow, in my wow. cooler. Oh, wow. I yeah. went and picked it up in the shop. All right. Yeah. All right. Did you put my Traeger inside? I didn't, but I shut it off. We're going back to the shop when we leave here. But so I shut it, it off. Had I it had to yeah, cool down. Yeah, I hope the neighbors don't steal my $2,000 smoker. It's been out there long enough. They stole enough of your fuel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, you got gloves? Chris is bringing the gloves right now. Damn, we got the whole John Doc Recovery crew here for this barbecue. I don't even want to run anymore. I just want to eat and then go home. I got Food Line's finest. Look at this. Floor. Look at this. Dude, if Brad is not buying anything unless it's got like a... a oh, oh, you paid $10 for this coleslaw? Yeah. Jesus. Wait, why is that $10? It's not $10. 
It's a ten dollar meal. Oh, dude. oh okay. It was right, like two ninety nine. All right, well four people can have sandwiches. <sighs> Wait, look. Brad just couldn't get regular hamburger buns. No, I got these for me. Oh yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Brad just couldn't get regular hamburger buns. Oh, sorry, sorry. All right. Brad, we're we're gonna eat this. I think you're thinking of a different tonight. kind of butt. <laughs> You gotta give him the, the good old like doctor glove slap when you put it on there. Oh, God, just it rips, rips it. Rips it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. That's what John's buys the cheap gloves. Yeah. Oh, oh, dude, look at oh. this shit. Oh, we gotta pull. Oh, damn! Oh, damn. damn. Look at how juicy that is. Our whole pick. We gotta oh, slide yeah. the paper this, out of it now. This is the fat right here. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Oh yeah. See? Bone just comes right out. See, and John was gonna complain, and look, no meat on that at all. Zero. Clean. I'll be honest with you. you look at me. I don't need to look the viewers in the eyes. I'm not talking shit, but my meat's juicier. Like, my, my shit looks like a damn swimming pool of juice. It's alright, though. Hey. It's alright. For, for... Matt, all right, unbiased taste test, Matt. For Matt, you've eaten a lot of my meat. Something that was made quick and, and too hot. No, I, I give it to you. What was the temp when you pulled it off, Dustin? Uh... Like two, uh, yeah, pretty, the probe was like 210, I think. 210? Alright, so we were, we were on the, the brink of too hot. It's a little dry. A little dry? A little, no, it's not bad. Like, no, it's not bad. But like, my shit be so juicy, you have to wear a life vest to eat it. They call it Juice World. Rest in peace. Alright, y'all. OG cow back in action. I'm uh, pretty happy with that. The car comes out here and it, it impresses me because... It's kind of an old build, but it just keeps it just keeps doing its thing. Uh, Matt, are you impressed with the cow? Are you actually? Yeah, it's a little little weird getting in it. The kind of things going. On. I tried to warn Matt. I was like, I know this was the first car I learned to drive on, and it's got all these weird corks and things, buttons and weird spots. You don't realize it's hard to explain until you're in there and you're yeah. like. God, this thing is weird because it's like as soon as you crack the throttle, it's like no power, absolutely ma oversized yeah, blowout. Like I step back in and I'm like, oh, nothing there. Yeah. Then the button on the the, the floating just... button. I'm just used to it. So, um, but well, hey, we'll we'll give it another shot. We're gonna revamp it. Oh yeah. Cow two point, cow one point five. Faster than it goes now. Faster than it goes now. More streetable. More streetable. Definitely be more enjoyable. More stuff on the inside. Like, yeah. We're gonna. Oh, it's gonna be badass. Yeah. So this is this is a. Uh, my first, my first car. My mom, mom, Hattie. I'm not getting rid of it. Don't worry, don't worry. Make but it we're just gonna make it better. Maybe we need to make it easy enough that my mom can drive. Oh yeah, the hood's going back on. Yeah. White and orange coming back. I like showing off the cow print stuff, but we're gonna the classic OG cows coming back. So uh, I'm super excited. Everyone's talking smack. We got an hour ride home to the house from here. So we're gonna stop by the shop. Drop off Brad. Brad, first time at the track in a while. What'd you think? It's been a LS, been a LS Nasty now has a CDL driver. We are 100% legit. We're, 100, we're legit. Before, if we got pulled over in the toter, I get 26,000, Matt gets 26,000, Lowe gets 26,000, add it together, that's our limit. But now we don't have to do that kind of math anymore. We've got 80,000 and over. Yeah, we are good to go. So, uh, I got to drive this to the shop, then to the house. So, we got about an hour driving. Car is it's just solid car. We actually we had to get a CDL driver to haul that whoop ass. Yeah, ass. haul haul all that ass whooping. And then we got we got the Toad Father behind us, Todd Wester right here. Some people say that he has the fastest Nova. Yeah, thing. Todd. Hey, Todd. You coming? You coming for that stock block race? Stock block. Bringing this? Uh, October 22nd, 23rd, $10,000 shootout. You're running a stock block race on Friday night. Okay. And you're taking home the money. Look at the camera and tell everybody. They best, they best work they a little bit harder. They best turn the fuck up. Oh. So, oh, <laughs> I like that shit. All right. Bringing this? No, 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 no. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Why not? Maybe. Stock maybe. block race. I mean, this is a street car, not a stock block. This is an all steel all glass. street car class? We have Outlaw Street the next day. What's that? I'm like, you well, stop block? I'm trying to run Friday. something in the 28 class. Yeah, it'll be all right. I'm Todd, on 28, you're good. I can barely run one car, let alone two. One and, car? Yes. I can barely keep one car running, let alone 
run two cars in one race. You got this man right here. You good to go. He's overworked hey, and underpaid, that's and that's how we keep him. We do good running two cars in one race. Look at Red Springs last time we were there. <laughs> Neither one made it past first round. Oh, one made it to first round, and one got out first round. <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right, Logan, send him out of here. Hit him with a merge plug. What's happening on October 1st? Next giveaway. LSNasty.com. Get some merch. What are we giving away? The Caprice. Shop car. Banging gears. Cop car. He gets to buy this round. Don Doc got to buy this round.